Want to speak real Italian from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at italianpod101.com. Hi guys, ciao ragazzi, sono Desire, I'm Desire, and today I'm going to tell you 10 phrases to amaze native speakers. Woohoo! Grazie, ma in realtà io non sono un madrelingua. Thank you, but I'm not a native speaker, actually. So it probably means that someone complimented you on your Italian. Like, wow, il tuo italiano è perfetto. Wow, your Italian is perfect. Yeah, thank you, but I'm not a native speaker. Sì, grazie, ma non sono un madrelingua. If people tell you something and you answer in this way, means you have a high level, like high proficiency level of Italian. Good job. Ho capito completamente tutto quello che hai detto. I completely understood everything you said. Actually, maybe it's better to say, ho capito tutto quello che hai detto, I understood everything you say, because if you add completamente, completely, it's kind of too much. So, yeah, ho capito tutto quello che hai detto, they would be amazed, like, wow, you're great. But then people will expect that you know everything, like really everything, and maybe use also different words. I would stay with the stay humble, like, yeah, I got the sense of that, sì, ho capito il senso di quello che hai detto. So you can always surprise people and not make them expect that you know everything. But that's my personal thing. Ho studiato italiano per dieci anni. I've been learning Italian for ten years. Well, that's amazing when I think that you did that for so long. Ten years is really long, but it's not really something to be proud of if you're still not able to talk a lot. So yeah, be careful with this phrase because you can amaze people because they would like admire you for how much efforts you put in your study. But yeah, if you have a high level or you feel confident in Italian or whatever language you're learning, you can say, hey, I ho studiato l'italiano or some other languages per dieci anni. And that's amazing. But yeah, just be careful. <laughs> Not to make the other person expect that you know everything. And then you don't. That it's completely understandable. But yeah, people would be amazed because you had so such a long patient, basically. You were patient and studied so long. If You haven't been learning Italian for 10 years, but less, it's, you just say the number and then add anni, like due anni, tre anni, quattro anni, uno, one would be anno and not anni. Or probably something that would amaze even more, it's when you say, ho studiato l'italiano per neanche un anno. I've been learning Italian for not even a year and you know how to speak that, that's amazing. And yeah, people will be amazed. L'italiano è divertente e facile da imparare. Italian is fun and easy to learn. I can believe that it's fun for people to learn that, but I wouldn't say that it's easy. So if you tell a native speaker that you find it easy, I will be impressed because we have so many verbs, so many ir irregular verbs, and we have articles like feminine and masculine I understand that it's really hard to understand like who who establish what's feminine and what's masculine but that's a secret so yeah if you find Italian fun and easy quindi se trovi l'italiano divertente e facile you amazed me <laughs> mi ci è voluto solo un anno per diventare fluente it took me only one year to become fluent That's amazing, for real. As I was saying before, I know Italian is not easy, but you know that actually, I didn't know that, I just learned that, like I was reading an article and it says that Italian is the fourth most learned language in the world. So we have English, Spanish, Chinese, and then Italian. I was really surprised about that. I don't know why so many people learn Italian, but if you find that fun and easy, you're welcome. Oltre a conoscere l'italiano, so parlare anche alcune altre lingue. Apart from knowing Italian, I can speak a few other languages. Yeah, that's great. But it always depends on, like, if you can say, hey, how are you in 20 languages, that it's amazing. But, like, to amaze people, you need to have a high level. So, in my opinion, at least in my case, I would say that studying two languages at a time, it's already enough. Parlerò italiano come un madrelingua in tre anni. I will speak Italian like a native speaker in three years. But if you're, you're not that confident, maybe don't say that. 
because people will expect you to do that. Maybe people will be like skeptical and be like, oh, really? And how are you going to do that? Tell me, you master, Italian master. If you really know that you can do that, like maybe you are going to study abroad in Italy, staying there, spending there two years, also maybe one if you studied a lot before, I'm sure you will be fluent. So you can say that, but don't use it too much. <laughs> don't be overwhelming. If you want to say something not so strong, maybe you can say Vorrei parlare italiano come un madrelingua in tre anni. I would like to speak Italian like a native speaker in three years. And that's more acceptable. <laughs> People will like it more. So I suggest you vorrei instead of I will, instead of parlerò. Parlerò is I will speak. Vorrei, I would like to. So yeah, anyway, keep it up. Posso guardare film italiani senza sottotitoli. I can watch Italian movies without subtitles. That's amazing for real. How many times did I say amazing in this video? Anyway, well, actually, maybe you can, it can be helpful to do that because you pay more attention on what they do and you're not like, oh, it's okay, anyway, I can read the subtitle. No, you need to focus on what they say. And especially for Italian movies, like, I mean, Italian movies made by Italian actors. Maybe that's also a good way to learn Italian because they use a lot of gestures and you can learn like how to say, I'm hungry. You do these on your stomach and it means I'm hungry, yeah. Or these, can we go? Yeah, so if you watch Italian movies, it's a good way to learn fun things actually and to learn Italian idiomatic expression, expressions maybe, so yeah. That's a good phrase to amaze people, but also a good phrase, a good thing to do to learn, actually, Italian. Posso memorizzare circa 50 nuove parole italiane al giorno. I can memorize around 50 new Italian words a day. That's a lot, like 50. Whoa, <laughs> no, I would never be able to. But if you can, <laughs> do that. And yeah, tell that to people, but that means that like in, one week, you will have 350 new words. Yeah, if you don't manage to memorize so many words in a day, maybe you can change the number and say, for example, posso memorizzare circa 10 nuove parole italiane al giorno. I can memorize around 10 new Italian words a day. And that's cool too. I mean, as long as you can keep it every day, it's great. I would say it's not about how many words you learn, but how many times you do that. Like if you really manage to do that every day, you're basically done. You will manage to be fluent in no time. Keep it down and then if you can make more, that's even great. Better, but still be humble if you manage to. Sto imparando l'italiano tutto da solo. I'm learning Italian all by myself. Wow. <laughs> Again, wow. How do you learn a language by yourself? If you're not attending lessons, you can watch videos online, like you are doing now, <laughs> or read books, grammar books, but also normal books. And watch movies, listen to songs, try to speak it with person, like real people, maybe native speaker would be better that will correct you, or even if they will not, because they're not teachers, but just people you want to talk to, like friends, at least you can see if they really understand what you want to say. And that's a good way to check the improvement you have done. That was it for the 10 phrases to amaze native speakers. I hope you get to the point where you can say one of them proudly soon, and I'm happy if, you can, if I can help you just a little. So com comment if you want to tell me something and remember to subscribe. Bye bye, see you soon. Ci vediamo. Oh, yeah.